And what about this Nicole person? That's my daughter, Nikki. You use pictures of your daughter? Yeah. Does your daughter know that you're using her pictures? No. We just read your email. We have a lot of questions. First question is, how does a girl so beautiful end up dating weirdos on the internet? I don't just date random people on the internet, but Yakima's pretty small, okay. and I use the internet for friends. Anthony just messaged me out of nowhere. But what about Jose? He did the same. Start telling us your story with Jose. Go through Anthony to where we are right now. Okay, well with Jose, he had started talking, then he introduced me to his cousin, Kimberly. We went to school together. He was like, you know, she's new, she don't really have any friends, so I started talking to her. We're best friends, we do everything together. And then Jose turns out to be Kimberly. Yeah. And was she in love with you? Yeah, but I didn't know. She never told me anything. What was she like? Pretending to be Jose on the phone. Well, I mean, I would call him and talk, but Jose would never talk, he would text it. You were calling a number where you would just hear breathing? It wouldn't even be breathing, it would be on mute, so I wouldn't hear anything. Come on. Yeah, Marissa. that's wrong. I know it's wrong. Oh my <laughs> god. The whole school knew. They were like, you're being catfish, like he's fake. And I'm like, no, you guys don't know, you don't know him, why would you say that? All right, so that went on for how long? Three years. What? Three. Wait, you were talking to Jose for three years? Yeah, three years. How do you get burned by a three-year catfish right. and then jump into another online relationship? Since I was talking to Anthony during I was dating Jose, he would tell me, if you feel like you're being catfish, do something about it. And that's kind of what like, made me fall for him. And I trust Anthony because we always talk on the phone. He calls him more than he texts me. At least you know it's a guy. Uh, yes, at least we've, I know it's a guy. We've made some progress. But then he also gives me a lot of reasons why I need your guys' help because I would ask him, let's hang out when he moved to Washington. And he stood me up three times. Where did he move in Washington? Because Washington's a big state. Went to Seattle, then he moved to Yakima. He moved to Yakima? He moved to Yakima. Yes, like right here. Your little yeah. town. I mean, that's impossible that you wouldn't have seen him. The biggest red flag for us is how willing you are to believe anything anyone tells you. Have you ever sent him money or anything? I did. I sent him close to $500. I don't get it. Why? Why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> because I love him. He's kind, super easy to get along with. We would talk about personal things. I don't want to give up yet. I just want... I just, I just want him to be real. You need some help. All right. Do you, do you want to maybe explain everything? Uh, I can't really start somewhere because, like, I wasn't thinking about. I wasn't. I just did it because I don't know. It's no easy way to explain. Explain it however you can, because I want to know. We came to Alaska. We came all the way here. All we know right now is that you've been lying to Larissa, that she sent you money, that you promised to meet her a couple times. Yeah. So right now we're trying to figure out if you're this big bad yeah. I'm not that, I'm not Jerk. that. Jerk. Piece of That's not who I am. I'm not a big piece of Who is Anthony and why'd you create the page? I created the, the page just to get back at Anthony, who was a former friend of mine in Seattle. So Anthony's pictures that you were using are of Those some... are actual pictures. Anthony me over by getting into a relationship with the girl that I was with at that time. I found out and I decided to make a fake profile to him over with his girlfriend. I kind of told her all this and made her think that Anthony was a piece of I've had friends me over all the time, and I don't sure. go and make a profile. I Why use don't you just it just be to bad and go up and you know in front of him and be like, "Hey, you stole my girl. Let's like, you know, something." I know I f***ed up, and I regret it. I feel like you're not really sorry. I just want to know why. Why me though? Like really? Like I don't even know why I chose you. Like I could, I was talking to you like anybody else. At first, it was just a game. Yeah, to you. To me, it was just a game. But then after a while, it just became something else. Did you have real feelings for her? Like, I 
like her as a friend. As a friend? As a friend. You were the first one to tell me you loved me. What do you mean? My heart was broken when I was talking to you about Jose. You just broke it more. You don't know how that feels. That's not right. So Dominique was just giving us a quick history of your relationship with BJ. What's his deal? Like, just tell us a little bit about him. Well, he lives in South Carolina and he has a security business and he has a, like a chain of laundromat. Nice. How did you meet? I met BJ on Instagram in 2014. Wow. You guys have been talking for six years. Yes, a long time. I would say we were friends. I was busy talking to people at home. But me and BJ got a lot more serious around the time. I was going through some like serious medical issues. He was there for me through some very, very traumatizing things. I mean, we talk a lot. I even went as far as like going to see him three times, but every time I would get on a plane and go down there, he would disappear on me. You flew down there three times? Three times. What do you say to him when he stands you up like that? Like, you don't really want to know what I say. I do. He smooths it over eventually. I don't know how. I'm at the point, like, I've invested time in this with him, and I need answers because this has gone on for too long. I think it's time for closure, so you have to get to the bottom of this and find out what exactly is going on. My spidey senses are tingling. Yeah. Hi. Who is this? This is BJ. This is BJ? Yes. I got a call from my friend. Oshawan? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, saying that Catfish is looking for you. He asked me, like, what's my number and all that? We searched the number and it came up as Bilal Gibbs. Yes, that's my name. But I got a family plan. I got my brother running my plan. So, wait, do you know who Danielle is? Yes, I know who Danielle is. I haven't talked to her in over two years. So, okay, so you think there's a chance your brother might be talking to her now? I know. Oh, you, you know? Yeah, he, he, he confessed to me. Like, he's been talking oh, to her. Oh, boy. It's like two years. Yeah, oh, crazy, God. right? Yeah. Wait, so you were talking to her for for a long time? Yeah, we were talking for a while. It was released, but we took off. So these last two years, I man, talking to her. So you weren't talking to her after she got shot? She got shot. So, oh, so you don't even know about all that? Oh. Okay, so how did your brother get her number? Right. He can't trust my brother. So he has access to like social media and all that. Uh, so okay. I, that's why he told me, he said, he said, bro, man, I was going to your phone. And when you told me about her, like she was a good girl, and then he started talking to her, he confessed to me all that, what they had going on. So were you not pissed off with him that he was basically yes. talking to your girl? Yeah, that's why I'm calling, because I had to clear my name, like he been posing as me. Wow, how old is he? He's four years older than me. So he's in like his 30s. Are you both in South Carolina? Yes. And do you know how he feels about Danielle? I don't know. After he told me, I don't know what to do with this. When he got his own family, he got kids and all that. Wow. But you're not. No, I'm not married. Are you still interested in Danielle? I ain't been talking to her. It hasn't been me. Right. Is it cool if we call you back if we need to ask you something? I don't know what to do with this. Be honest with you. Okay, so the number Danielle has is your brother's number. Yes. And what's his name? Devin. Devin? Yes. All right, so I guess we'll just have to talk to him now. We appreciate you calling. All right, thanks, BJ. Thanks. Oh, man. That's so up. Um, basically, yesterday, so I kind of like, I kind of panicked, you feel me? I panicked, so I had to make, that about my brother. Give me leeway. Give right. me leeway to take the pressure off me. You know what I'm saying? Wow. This is now a whole new story. Yeah. So not what you just said. To be clear, the only person Danielle has been talking to the whole time has been you. Yes. OK. Do you have a brother? I have a brother, yeah. But he has nothing to do with this. Nah, I don't got nothing to do with it. And he's married. Yeah, that's true. With kids. Right. And you threw him under the bus. Why would you even play like that? I panicked, and I didn't want to have a conversation. So the real reason that you encouraged her to come to South Carolina and then decided not to meet her was just because, what, you were nervous? I wanted you to come, but I never was going to go through with it. 
<laughs> yeah. I wasn't the place for you to come. Why? Because, like, she, like, extravagant things. And I was already telling her I was extravagant, you feel me? I felt like I needed to say that to keep her around. I didn't have those things to show, you know what I'm saying? So that's a big lie. I got security business, that's mine. But the laundromat thing, I said that to keep her around. Wait, wait, wait. What made you think that that would be something that would have been a big deal? Danielle, were you particularly interested in his money or something? No. I feel like if I lied and said I had those things, that she would be still fond of me. I felt bad that I ghosted her. But not bad enough to show up. Couldn't you have at least sent a text that said, oh, I just got called on a job. Like, just get, just to let her know so she doesn't fly all the way down there. Like, you didn't realize that you didn't have it together before I came down here? It's I not that I have it together, you know what I'm saying? Just like, average joke, you feel me? Yeah, I'm upcoming, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like I have it together. It's that everything I told you, that wasn't it. And once you see that, that's a, you weren't, you'll be turned off, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand why you lied. You didn't even have to make it seem like it was something else. I feel like I did. I just really want to lay it all out there. What's true and, and what things have, or aren't true that she doesn't know are, are lies? Can you kind of just clear the air a little Everything bit on Everything is it? a lie. You're a liar. Everything is not a lie. Me living the scrapping lifestyle, traveling all that, that's a lie. But everything else, how I feel, that's not a lie. I said things to keep you around. Bro, I don't even have all the things that you're trying to tell me that you have. Were you just waiting for the right opportunity until the business grew and you had all these things? Yeah, I didn't want to meet like this. Why not FaceTime? Yeah, why couldn't you FaceTime? Because I feel like she's going to see my lifestyle. Yeah, but you could have just been at Burger King right. having lunch. It was sometimes, like I said, I'm out of town. When I'm really not in town, she tried to FaceTime me. And I, I wouldn't do it. Here's the up thing. Like, the truth isn't even that bad. Right. Like, the fact that you embellished your lifestyle a little bit pretty insignificant in the big picture of things. What's really up is that you wasted her emotional time and energy. I don't know, but I'm but, here to come clear. I'm here to, to let you know that I'm coming clean, you know what I'm saying? I want to go forward. Go <laughs> forward how? I want to hopefully keep our relationship. You want me to go ahead and let go of everything? I don't know what you told me is true. That's, that was the biggest lie. Everything else told you the truth. I ain't no kids. I mean, I'm single. I'm a bachelor. That's the truth. I've been talking to someone named Alexis. And how long have you been talking? For almost a year. It's a good amount of time. And how did you meet Alexis? I used to go on this app called Meet Me. Alexis sent me a friend request. She told me, I'm going to go live if you want to join it. It was like kind of dark. But like, it looked like her. She was just talking to me and like other people, and we just started talking from there. What do you know about her? She lives in Austin. She has a kid, a daughter, Alyssa. She's like three or four. How old is Alexis? I think she's 20. All right, so you guys are about the same age. Me and her actually have a lot of stuff in common. We both like watch wrestling, like they sing music. We talk on the phone every day. I like her a lot. I want to be with her. Do you guys say that you love each other too? Like on the phone? Yeah. So why haven't you guys met? Because San Antonio to Austin, that's not that far. We tried meeting up a couple of times, but she couldn't because she had to take care of her daughter. Hmm. What about like Facebook, Instagram? Does she have profiles? I don't have her on none of that. Why not? I guess I'd never bothered asking. Have you guys video chatted? I asked yeah. one time if her phone was broken. The good uh, old phone was broken. <laughs> so if you're ready, why don't you come outside? I'm ready. My God. Who's that? Oh, wow. Why don't we, why don't we come over here? That's Alexis. <sighs> So, Nicole, mm -hmm. this is Jesus, and you are the person he's been talking to, mm -hmm. is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's been going on here? Because we got a whole story from Amanda. Clearly, you're not the girl no, in the picture. No, Amanda right? made the profile. 
Okay. Wait, Amanda made, I made the profile. Am Amanda made the profile years ago. She was doing this and that. She used to be my best friend. She's not anymore. Hold on. So you're saying that when Jesus started talking to Alexis, he was actually talking to Amanda? He was talking to her, and then I took over. How long have you been uh, the profile? I was talking to him like a little over a year. So pretty much yeah. the whole time? Yeah. And it was you in the video chat, right? It was me. Okay, so you are the catfish. Who's the girl in the Alexis profile? That's my cousin. All of her pictures. Oh, you use pictures of your cousin? Yes, that's quote unquote Alexis. And she knew you were using her pictures, or not? No, Amanda no. didn't tell her nothing. Amanda befriended her like a friend. You know, hey, let's do this together. I said, okay, you know, I agreed to it. And what about this Nicole person? That's my daughter, Nikki. You use pictures of your daughter? Yeah. Does your daughter know that you're using her pictures? No. What about your other daughter, Alyssa, that you told Jesus about? Yeah, who's Alyssa? Aly that's Amanda's daughter. You said it was your daughter. Yeah, but don't yell at me. That's Amanda's daughter. Oh, right, Amanda. You said you guys got into a big fight because you sent pictures of her kids to some guy in prison. Uh, first of all, she's the one that gave me the pictures to send to them. Second of all, Amanda so did was... did send pictures of her daughter to someone To nobody in prison. in prison. She was in this the whole time. I don't know what she's talking about. The bottom line is, Alexis is not real. You're That's... talking for a, a year plus to this young man. And the idea was to make a fake profile to talk to guys to see if you could get them to give you money. Yeah. OK, so tell us about your relationship. How did it get so serious? Well, we immediately had shared a lot of the same interests and values with things. We like to like go hiking and fishing and stuff like that. The more and more that we began to talk, it became a little bit more intimate and affectionate over the phone. And within six months, we were already in love. And you didn't meet because? Well, one, she's in the Navy, and two, she already has a seven-year-old child. And every time we were supposed to meet, she would stand me up. And she's like, oh, I couldn't find a babysitter for a little seven-year-old child, or, oh, I'm stuck at work. So she's had a lot of excuses, some of which make a lot of sense, obviously. She's a single mother, but you're in love, and you live in the same city. You could just come over. Hey, I'll bring some dinner over and we can just hang. Like, what? I don't get it. Trust me, I've asked stuff like that. Like, hey, you can come over. If you need a babysitter, I will watch, you know? But no. What's the video chat situation? Her phone is broken. It would really irritate me and I would let her know. But she'll be like, you know that I have kids and I do this by myself. So I, I try not to push it anymore. All right, so hold on a second. She says, I have kids. So in addition to having her seven-year-old son, she now has a second child. Let's get to that. Let me get, let me just get ready for this, hold on. We're very curious how this child that's yours and hers came to pass. What, what's the story there? She did not want to take the time off and be pregnant, neither did I. So we decided that let's have a surrogate. So I would send her money every time I got paid, but she did everything on her own without even me knowing. And I just found out about the baby two weeks after he was born. I don't even know what the baby looks like. Wait, baby hold on. Still. What do you mean you don't know what the baby looks like? You haven't seen a picture? No. So you don't even necessarily there's know there no, is a baby. There's no baby. There is a baby because when I talk to her on the phone, I hear the baby in the background. I really think she meant for it to be a surprise. Surprise, here's the baby that we talked about. You weren't there for its birth. I was a little mad about that. A little? How have you not seen a picture? Well, she said that her camera is broken. Oh, come on. This is insane. This is insane. Is Courtney here? No. Are you kidding me? That's not Courtney. What's her name? Brittany. Brittany. Courtney's sister, right? Yes. We don't really have any proof that it is Brittany aside from the phone number. It could be registered under some kind of family plan. I ain't mean for it to happen like this. Are you the person Kiara's been talking to? Yes. This is uh, Brittany, Courtney's hey, sister. So this whole time, it was you. I'm sorry. I just, no baby. 
I mean, I don't have a baby. So the baby in the background? The... It's my sister's son. My feelings are genuine. I mean, I just look different. I don't. So what was the point of using your sister? Like, you weren't going to be interested in me. I mean. Well, you don't know that. But you, right, you don't know that. I'm sorry. I mean, sorry, I mean, not I can, really cutting it. Like, I spent that, my but... money, time, energy. We had so many plans, and all you have is, I'm sorry. We can still have those plans. I just look different. I mean. Does your sister know that you used her pictures and her name on a dating app? No. So how were you picking up the money that I was sending you? It's my sister, I mean, it's not that hard. We stay in the same house, I'm, I'm easily walk into her room and her wallet's right there. Like, I would take her ID and <laughs> they never, right. like. Never questioned that. Mm -hmm. Does she know that you were doing that? No. Does she know that you have me blocked on Facebook? Yeah, who's, that who's blocking her on, on Facebook? Is that an account that you're controlling or that? I mean, it's her account, but I know her uh, information, so. Same with Instagram. Yes. So you've been really sneaking around behind your sister's back. Yes. I also think a big part of this is your sister, even though she has no idea she's involved. You violated her trust as well. I feel like she, she needs, needs to, to know. know. So you, you're clear. About two years ago, Brittany went on Plenty of Fish. She made a profile of you, your name, your pictures. They met, and over the course of their relationship, she used most of your real life as part of her story. I'm sorry. I mean, you can't find nobody else. You're my sister, like, it was just more convenient. And they started talking about having a kid together via a surrogate. So they started a savings account for the eventual surrogate that they would use. Then one day Kira heard your son, your baby son in the background and Brittany said, oh, that's our son. I went ahead with the surrogate and now we have this kid. Well, I lied about me as you get in the surrogate. I asked her for $1,000 for a big surrogate. She lied on your baby as if she had kids. That just really hurts because I really thought I was a mom. And I'm not. And, um. There's more? I've taken your ID before to, um, pick up money as, like, as you. I was basically you for like two years. I deceived you, I deceived her. Were you aware of any of this? No, no. 